Factsverse presents… Everyone is still trying to grasp Jonathan Scott's personal tragedy. Jonathan Scott and his twin brother Drew were born on a horse farm outside of Vancouver, Canada. Their father was a Scottish immigrant, and they have an older brother named J.D. When Jonathan was young, he had a strong stage presence and personality. Their father had a strong work ethic, and when they were seven years old, he encouraged them to get a job. They started working as child clowns, and they loved to perform. They grew sick of the makeup, though, so they turned to magic. Jonathan took to it more than Drew did. Jonathan was born John Ian Scott. Jonathan realized early on that he loved to entertain. He loved cards and loved performing magic tricks. He even took on the stage name Jonathan Silver. Even though he loved to entertain, it made him worry. He didn't want to focus only on entertaining because he knew that it could result in him being a starving artist. And that was when he decided to learn to do something else so that he would have something to fall back on. Over the years, the boy's father had them help him make repairs around the house to give them some knowledge of home improvement. When they were 14 years old, his father moved to Alberta, Canada, and he was going to build a dream home for his parents. And it was then that they learned a lot about home improvement. When they got older, Jonathan and Drew had different passions. Rather than competing with one another, they decided to take one twin's passions for home improvement and the other's passion for real estate and create an amazing company. To help with their careers, the Scott twins enrolled in college at the University of Calgary to get a degree in business management. Rather than partying like most college freshmen, the Scott twins did something completely different. The boys used the money they'd saved and used it as a down payment for a property. It was their first house that they completely redid, and they got $50,000 for it. And it was then that their passion grew even stronger. Over the next decade, the Scott Twins company, Scott Real Estate, was very successful. It had them traveling back and forth between Canada and Las Vegas. Being in Vegas reminded Jonathan about how much he missed entertaining. And finally, his dream of entertaining came true when the entertainment industry heard about the funny real estate duo, and they got their own show. Property Brothers. On the show, Jonathan and Drew would help people take properties and develop them into their dream homes while keeping the budgets into account. The show was perfect for them because Jonathan was able to build and Drew was able to buy. Soon they became household names. Eventually, they branched off into books, music, acting, radio, and other endeavors. The one thing that was missing for Jonathan, though, was love. In 2015, Jonathan met Jacinta Kuznetsov at a ball. He says that when he first saw her, he was reminded of Cinderella. Unfortunately, like the fairy tale princess, she did not leave a shoe behind. He had to find her on Instagram if he was going to make the first move. That wasn't the type of thing he usually did, but he just couldn't get her out of his mind. The first date didn't go all that well, but Jonathan wasn't ready to give up just yet. He asked her on a second date, and that one went great. Soon, they were officially a couple. Fans couldn't get enough of this happy couple, and they were falling deeply in love. At the same time, Drew found love with Linda Fawn, who made frequent appearances on the show. In December 2016, Jonathan took Jacinta to Maui and asked her to marry him. Soon, Jonathan, Drew, and their ladies were all living together. In April 2018, Jonathan posted a photo of Jacinta and himself playing with elephants with the caption letting everybody know that they were calling it quits. He assured his fans that the decision was amicable. Many people believed that it was living in the public eye that scared her off. Everybody's still trying to grasp Jonathan Scott's personal tragedy when he was best man in his brother's wedding. Drew married Linda and Jonathan cried while making his best man speech. Being alone again was hard, but fortunately, he and Jacinta did remain friends. That was important since she's on the production team of his show. When asked about the future of his love life, he said that he was wrapped up in 14 different construction projects. But if the right woman comes along, he might be ready to move on. Subscribe for more.